I'm sorry, I didn't mean to provoke a situation. Oh, absolutely anything that will help out. In that case, I'd better get started. Robert, I don't try to strain him too much. He's <clears throat> asking too many questions. He gets jumbled, his words, so... Uh... I doubt that's going to happen, love. I really only have one thing to ask him. Okay. Well, Doc, making a hell of a recovery here. You know, when they start handing out medals for guts and perseverance, you have no equals. Nice war words. Yeah. That's the easy part of it for me. Tony, this is important. What did Peter Harrell say to you? Do you understand what I asked you? Peter. Right. He said something to you in the railroad car. Treasure. Peter. Say, treasure. He told you about it? Yes. Go on. He say treasure. Don Lee had treasure. That's all. Nothing more? No. This man, Donnelly, is he with Slater? No. It, I don't know. Think carefully. You were taking care of Peter. He told you that Donnelly, Donnelly had the treasure. And what happened? I, I heard. Don't know. Uh, sound outside the railroad car. Yes. S siren. The, the, the ambulance you, you told Felicia to get. Yes. Right. I saw him. Donnelly? No. Sleep. Then what happened? Sleep. Fire. Gun. You're doing fine. You're doing just fine. All right, this bit's important. Was Donnelly with Slater when he shot you? No. One man. So help me. I'm going to get Slater if it's the last damn thing I do as police commissioner. But understand something. I can't arrest him until I know positively that somebody didn't tell Slater to shoot you. You understand? Yes. And another thing. This is police business. It's got to be entirely confidential for your own safety. Yes. Good man. All right, now listen, if anything else comes to mind, tell Frisco or your wife to call me, understand? Yes. Thank you. Hey. I should be thanking you. And don't worry about anything. Nobody but nobody is going to get to you. Right. Tanya, you can... Uh... You can come out now. How'd it go? Good. Uh, listen, this conversation's going to remain strictly confidential. No questions. I don't understand. What did Tony tell you? It's important to know whom we can trust. Sorry, these are the ground rules. 
And there are no questions for Tony either. Okay. Well, he looks kind of tired. I'm going to put him to bed, Ronald. I'll help you, Tony. Take it easy, brother. What's coming down, Robert? What do you mean? The blackout. I tried to make myself clear, Frisco. Oh, I know. No questions, no answers. Very clear. And you know what that's telling me? That's telling me that you're on to something big, am I right? Sorry. Tony came through for you, didn't he? He needs protection, and you're doing that. Now, I don't need protection. Robert, please don't shut me out. What do you want? He's my brother, damn it. And I want to help go after them. Them? You tell me. I don't care how many we're talking about. I don't give a damn about the risk. I'm sure you don't. But you're not getting any information out of me, despite the fact that I appreciate how you feel. Well, I like the way you show how you appreciate things, Robert. Look, I'm sorry to offend you, but the ground rules are the ground rules, and that's the way it's going to be. What it basically means is that I don't want to have to look after you, Frisco. You got it? Now, you stay the hell out of this, and I mean right out of it. Tanya hated to leave him to go back to work. And I had the time. But now I'm going to have to get back to Kelly's. My shift starts. Well, I can watch Tony until the other nurse gets here. You've been awful quiet out here. No music, no TV. Well, I was noisy enough last night, wasn't I? Yes. Sorry about the ring. The ring is no longer important to me. Still, I didn't mean to insult you. I'd rather not talk about this. Did Robert say anything more while Tony and I were with Tony? Robert? Oh, yeah, Robert said plenty. Oh? <clears throat> He's not my favorite person right now, but then... I'm a sore loser. Why are you so upset with Robert? Upset? Who's upset, huh? I mean, I tell him that I want to help, and he orders me to stay out of it. You'll have to obey his orders, Briscoe. Yeah, well, that's what he thinks. Listen, I'm going to find out who's helping Slater. I am. Try to kill my brother, and that is my business. Is that what you're going to do? What would you do in my place, huh? Well, I know that you have your feelings. He's my brother. Now, don't you think that I have a right? Yes, and I have my feelings. Meaning what? Well, I know how you feel about me. And I can't help the way I feel about you. It makes me sick to think about you going after the treasure. There's been a curse on this treasure. And I'm afraid for you. I don't want to see yourself destroyed. <laughs> 